Welcome back to Sekiro, with me and my wife, Anni. Kill the rich. Agreed. In the last episode, we explored the huge pond here at the Fountainhead Palace. Now I want to take out the... I still don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but... Sh Shichimon Warrior? I know they take two death blows. I want to try to get a death blow from above. There's a little platform up there that I can go to. I think I've actually been there once before. Or maybe I've been all the way up there at the top of the waterfall. I think that's where I was. Yeah. They might spot me if I come from this direction, but I'm going to try it anyway. So I've got my healing gourd here and also the model purple gourd since they're going to have a lot of terror stuff. I'm also thinking that this actually might be the only boss I can think of where this shield thing, Phoenix's lilac umbrella, where that's actually useful. Because I remember last time I fought this in the, the Great Abyss, the dark hole, bottomless hole, whatever it was called. I remember a lot of this enemy type was just waiting for their very strong attacks to kind of be done with, outrunning all the incredible amounts of terror in those skull things that they shoot at me. And oh. then once an opportunity presents itself, then go in for an attack. So there's actually a bit of waiting. So I'm going to try to remember to use it. First, got chains. See if I can sneak up there without them seeing. I think we might be okay. We might be okay. But yeah, can I get a death blow from here? I don't know, probably. If they're death blowable from above. They should be. Okay, um... Akko's sugar. Not gonna use my gourd, just use a pacifying agent because I have a million to get just the initial resistance. And Divine Confetti. Should I use Divine Confetti right now or wait? I should use it now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I remember we couldn't get a death bow for the last one either. What was that? Damn. No idea. Did you do it or did they do it? Um, is my divine confetti already gone? Yeah. So is your terror resistance? I think I did it. I think it was floating passage used with divine confetti. So it just made it look really, really pretty. Oh. I think. I accidentally activated it. That's very good. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. It's okay. You got your revives back. Oh, right. This. Okay, this is actually extremely oh. effective. Yeah. Just be a slow ass bitch. Oof. Do you have resistance? Yeah. No! Oh, yeah! Oh. Man, it's gonna use a lot of divine confetti. Yeah. That's alright. You got unlimited now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, 
is so cool. I remember that used to fuck you up. No, I still got it going. Still got it going. We don't have terror resistance going, though. Oof. This is a really cool fight. Yeah. Just lots of pretty colors and everything, and finally I get to use the umbrella in like a very, very, very useful way. Yeah. Fucker. Yes. Yes. Hell yeah. That was a cool oh, fight. Oh, first try. Whoa. Lapis Lazuli? Lapis Lazuli. She fled into the bottom of the sea. Lapis Lazuli. She was scared, but then she came around to me. She did. Have a little, have a little, have a little sympathy. That's from Steven Universe, if anybody's wondering. Yeah. <laughs> So this is a super rare upgrade material. Precious Azure Lazulite used for the highest level of prosthetic tool upgrades. Fountainhead Lazulite is a symbol of eternity and anything forged with it will never break nor rust thanks to the blessing of the divine dragon. Tools forged with the Lazulite transcend human intellect and are dubbed as treasures of the divine dragon. Oh. That is very cool. Also, I love the frozen, like, tormented faces on the right side of the screen. <laughs> very cool fight. You got five points. Oh, five skill points? Yeah. Oh, hell yes. Hell yes. Ooh, nice. Beep. I didn't have any. I think you had a one, but it was oh. like that. It was like the extra special yeah, one. Yeah, I don't want to use the extra special one. This is a special, baby. Am I on fire? What's... Why am I steaming? <laughs> Why are you steaming? Was there like a bug with your arm? I think so. That was so cool, actually, kind of. Uh, it was. Can I go back to steaming? <laughs> what if it's like a mood ring? Oh for... my god, maybe it's like, you know how there's like, um, tools that use steam for cleaning? Maybe hmm. it was like self-cleaning itself. Yeah, I accidentally activated the cleaning cycle. <laughs> <laughs> Wash cycle activated. <laughs> Okay, I just wanted to go to the Inner Sanctum to see if we could possibly get more rice. And then I just stepped right here and saw that they're not there. They said they wanted to see Kuro. Maybe they went there. Oh? Wait, but can they leave? I don't know. Like, the uh, whole point is that they're, like, behind the Halls of Illusions and it's hard to get here. Like, sorry, boob. Um, uh, like... Oh, I feel bad because like, we like we've seen them be weak before. Like, what if they just literally straight up shriveled away? No. No, no, no. I think they're with Kuro. Okay. Let's go see. I always press rest. No travel. Do you think they're gonna get together? Your two children? I hope not. Well. 
Okay, you think they're going to be friends? Yes. Hmm. Uh. Okay, now I'm worried. Okay. They Kuro. Hanging, they hanging out anywhere? Kuro, you seen your sister? You seen your sister? Kuro? There's a couple other places um, that I think they could possibly be near where they were. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Okay. That's just the same old thing. It's been a while since I've been here. Anything new to talk about? Oh, I have drink, don't I? Yeah. Special drink. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, that's the same. Do I want to do... I should give it to Emma, right? The good one. I don't know. Do so, we mo owe more to the sculptor? Oh, we definitely do. Or what exactly did Emma do for us at the very, very, very beginning of the game? Throw a letter down the well. Yeah, we owe more to the sculptor. <laughs> 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 also, I want to hear more of the gay love story. Yeah. But let's go back to the inner sanctum because, you know, just through that doorway, it unlocks and then goes to the main hall. And there's like oh. an altar there where the bell was. So I want to check over there. See if they're hanging out there. Also, maybe the Halls of Illusions. Oh, yeah. We're going to start pinning around lost posters. Lost one child. Yeah, so they're not here. I guess I'll go back to the halls of... Illusion? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Kuro. Anything new with you? <laughs> nope, just having fun. Oh, is... Is that them? Please be them. God, we've looked everywhere for you. Yes, what You're are you... are in trouble, little lady. What are you doing here? <laughs> そう言ってくれるのですね。いいえ、みんな。あのお方は本当にお優しいのですよ。これを渡してくださったのも。おい。ミコの忍び。いらしていたのですね。おかげで友達と深く。語らうことができましたおちの御子たちかはいそれであなたにお伝えしたいことがありますはい留院を返すそうです留院は故郷を離たれ この日のもとに流れ着いたものあるべきではない場所にあるべきではないものがある故に我らのような歪んだ命を生み出そうとするものが絶えぬのでしょう留院や留院に連なる我らはきっと帰るべきなのです西へ神なる龍の故郷へと ただいかにして辿り着くかそれがまだわかりませんさだかのことを知る者は先方証人ならばあるいはそれは誰だこの先方寺の快祖です弱いは果たしていいかほどか体内くぐりのうちにこもっています巫女の忍びよ何だこれは不死立ちとは 
また異なる道故に無理にとは申しませんもし留院を返す道を望まれるならば先方商人よりそのすべを聞き出していただけのでしょうか考えておこう I didn't expect looking for rice to turn into what sounds like an alternative ending. Yeah. Oh my god, this is huge. This is huge. I think I want to do it. Oh, what? Sever the ties of immortality or simply return it to where it came from? Which I think for us would effectively be the same thing. Well, maybe not. Because maybe. Maybe that would mean we don't die? Maybe we would go back, or I don't. I have no idea. Sever so ties us to immortality, or relocate with your kids. Hmm. We have another problem, though. Rice? No, my controller isn't working. Oh. <laughs> the light is on, though, so it's not out of power. But I, it's not doing anything. What is going on? Oh, that works. Okay. okay. ミコの忍びよもし留院を返す道をあのお方は体内区 The narrow cave, I think I know what they're talking about Okay Before we leave, let's also go speak with this odd person over here See if they have anything new to say Oh, he moved over there そなたなぜ戻られた私も小太郎さんもただ無心にここにありたいのですどうか静かにお帰りくださいませそなたはだはい OK That's not what 小太郎 said but OK Yeah <laughs> Before I find this Empo priest Let's spend my five skill points. I want to spend it on the last one here in Ashina Arts. The Ashina Cross. From a sheathed stance, draw the blade at high speed. Cause spirit emblems to use. Hold the stance to intercept at will. I don't know what that means. A secret technique of the Ashina style devoted to the mastery of a swift kill. Draws a cruciform cut in the blink of an eye so fast it could sever the arm of Shura, or so boasts Ashin Ashina. Oh, yeah, let's actually read the directions. That'll probably explain what the whole thing was about. Hold them both to... Oh, hold them both to enter the sheathed battle stance. And then release. Oh, release left button. Ah, I see. Okay, so you hold them both down. Both left and right button. And if you release the left button, then it just cancels the stance. Without really doing it, I guess. Probably doesn't cost anything to do that, I would assume. But if you release the right button, then it does the attack. Draw your sword from its sheath and slice in a cross pattern. That is really cool looking. <laughs> and yeah, that doesn't cause spirit emblems to use. So if I release the left button, then we just takes it. We can move slowly. Very threatening. Yeah. Okay. Let's try it. Cost two spirit emblems. It's very fast. Yeah. And let's go give the drink. Super special drink to the sculptor. Eh. Oh, maybe we could got all their dialogue. Aww. We've already seen that before, right? Yeah. Okay, then Emma gets it. Tell me more about the monkey that was eating a rice ball in the field or whatever that story was. It was really interesting. Yeah. Give drink. Oh, we can only give them the Dragon Spring Sake. Oh, thank God. So what is the garbage sake for? The water, water of the palace? Yeah. Give to somebody we hate? Yeah. <laughs>
まったくどうしたいいえこの流星を一心様が手に入れるとアシナの城にわらわらと人が集ってきて騒がしい終焉が始まるのですそういう時は道元様を置き去りに城の裏手など散策しておりました城の裏で何をそうですね源の渦をそれは何だ遠く源の水の流れいずる方角そちらの方に見える大きな渦雲です渦雲は雷をまとっています源一郎殿はよく刀を振るっていたものですその雷の渦雲を睨みながら So back to the Fountainhead Palace, trying to find a way, really just anywhere new, but especially to the other side across that little river? The stream? I'm thinking it's got to be like getting up to this higher part here that I don't know how to get to. That looks like a grapple point. You do. Oh, it is. That's how you... Oh, shit. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Well, I know how to get there now. All right. But I got to get back up. Over here. So Got we'll no time for that. Zappy. No time for bad doggies. No, they're all good dogs. Yeah, you're right. They really like just running around. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to do the sheath stance because they're just going to keep hopping around shooting me. Oh. See how well I can deflect arrows. Pretty That's well. That's really good. I wish it did any kind of damage to these. <laughs> yeah. Shooter, though. Yeah, so we can get up here. There we go. Oh, but there was that item down, down there. What? Yeah, there's that one item that you couldn't pick up. It was like, if you go down... Down there. No, up. Uh, go there on the left. <gasps> oh! Oh ho ho! Fuck yeah, the most important item. So glad you didn't miss that shit, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I can maybe get on the roof over there. Wait, I think oh. I've... Oh, I've been on that roof before. Yeah. I think that's where you tried to jump to the other thingy. Yeah. Oh, that gets me to the cave, which will get me to the other sculpture, oh. probably. Level design! Oh, they're differently colored! Oh, they're like al albino kickos. Yeah. Well, I wonder if they're like zombie-ish. Been sipping on that bad water. No. They know they're safe on the roof. Mm -hmm. I'll stay like drop down on you or something. What is? What does it even do? 
Oh, that looks like enfeebling. <gasps> it didn't actually do that effect, but the little wispy things looked like that. Uh-oh. Didn't do damn shit, though. You got hit, didn't you? Yeah, but that that's the enfeeble thing, though. Maybe yeah. it's just like an area of effect. Seems like it's a very, very, very weak area of effect. Huh. Poor babies. Oh. This one won't come down. Yeah, they're smart. They're like, I know what you fucking do. I know what you fucking do, monster. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't look like zombies, really, do they? No, they're just albino. Yeah. They just spread like that. Are you really the same one? How did you get here? How did you move at all? Near Pot Noble. <laughs> That's descriptive. Near for wherever you are, I believe that I'm near Pot Noble. That's beautiful. Thanks. It isn't the same one, is it? Yeah. Pot Noble Corey Mori. Corey oh? Mori. Is this a different name? Yeah, what was the other one called? I don't remember. Uh... But I'm pretty sure this is a different one. Oh, that's Rock Band. <gasps> that might be all the pieces. Left, yeah. right, and a top piece. Oh my god. And they even sell Lapis Lazuli. Yeah, they do. Okay, I'm definitely buying this fragment. Mm-hmm. Then I guess a lapis lazuli. Yeah. Thanks. Yes! It completed <gasps> automatically. A dragon's head dancing mask made whole by piecing the fragments back together grants the ability to exchange skill points for attack power in the sculptor's idle menu. Hmm? Oh. The Okami warrior women would wear this to the Fountainhead Palace. There they would dance as an offering for the dragon. Mysteriously, the ritual left them brimming with vigor. There's no mystery there. Yeah. Women just dancing makes you feel fucking powerful. <laughs> They're all gay. Yeah. Skill points for attack power. So it sounds like you can spend skill points for basically like the same thing as a be prayer bead? Actually, no. No, that's a bead. memory. Yeah, like the same thing as a memory, probably. I wonder how many skill points. We should go check that out. <sighs> it's gotta be pretty expensive, I would imagine. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd be super overpowered. Yeah, let's go back. Can you travel and check what the other Pot Noble's name was? Yeah. Harunaga. Pot Noble Harunaga. Yeah, definitely different ones. Do you have anything new to say, by the way? Yes, you will. <laughs> Hello? From software. Carp kin. 
Enhance attack power, skill points. Are you not going to tell me how many skill points? I mean, I have zero, so... Yeah. You're still not going to tell me? How, how many? How many? Maybe it's just one for one? That seems unlikely. That seems very unlikely. Hey, buddies. Oh. <laughs> I, I thought there'd be a grapple point. <laughs> I guess you missed it? I don't think there is a grapple point. I think I just have to jump. Damn. Correctly onto it. <laughs> just can't fuck up. Okay. Let's do it right this time. Oh, oh. wow. That was close. Just got a geek goop. Oh, can I get to the top top? There's no grapple points. No. I can get to that. Mm. Ooh. No, I don't even think I can get to that level. No. Will this get me to the other side? I don't think so. I think it will at least get you to the other side of the river. Where do you think I should jump from? Up here? This higher level? I guess, yeah. If there's a grapple point, sure, I guess, but I don't see a grapple point. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Actually, it's kind of good. Brought me back up here. <laughs> Should you aim away from the structure so that you could get at least on the ground level? Damn. Uh, I'll try. Damn! I don't think so. Maybe we have to go through the carp tunnel thing, and that will take us to the other side, because huh. it is, like, right... It is over... Kind of, uh, like, back where my head is? Like, behind that rock, I think? Okay. Okay. Maybe? Fuck me. I can't think of any other way to get there. Yeah, damn. Alright, let's go into the giant carp's home. Yeah. Was it here? Oh, I'm above it. I think. Wait, where was it? I don't remember. Oh, there it is. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, it's beautiful. Damn. You just gonna stay there? Should I do something with you? Mm. Oh, you're coming out. Or are you? No. no. I yeah, it's gonna stay in there. Um. Oh, I can't. I can't use prosthetic tools underwater. I was thinking about the feather. Uh. That wouldn't work. Should I just go? I guess, yeah. I'm still gonna get eaten. Oh, I bet that's where you're trying to get. I think so, but I have my revive. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, go back in the water, just like swim and then get back. No, no, just go up and then get back on the land. Like there, smooth transition from walking to swimming. I really love it. Yeah, it's really nice. So, is that supposed to be a boss fight? Like, can I use the bait somehow? I don't want to kill it. Yeah, I don't know. Like, maybe you'll if you go explore the other side, you'll find a place to put the bait. Yeah. 
I would try to avoid killing it as long as we can. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to go back in here a little bit. Like, where is it? So it doesn't see me right now. Oh, so cool. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay, it's got good sight. It's very wet and slippery. Yeah. No secret waterfall. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you used to. Those are the original lyrics? For what? Was that actually a song or did yeah. you make Oh. Were those the original lyrics? Yeah. Oh. It's raining Sakura flowers. Damn. Everyone in the comments bully Marshall for not doing DLC's waterfall. Do you say DLC? TLC. Oh. Okay. Otherwise, that'd be a very unfortunate name. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Oh god. Oh. Oh, that's the other side. Of the thing where they're all... Oh. All the nobles are inside, like, eating oh. something and being very, very, very creepy. Oh, fuck. Hmm... I don't want to just like burn them all. <laughs> Shot his fire burning on the dance floor. See a little shot is fire burning on the dance floor. They're eating bodies. Damn. Oh, it's look at all these masks. Are they eating those things? The. Like, oh. are, is this cannibalism? They're eating their own people? Yeah. Oh my god. So fucking creepy. I mean, ain't that how it is? The rich eat the poor? It's the noble's feet on the peasants. I didn't even reach. Yeah. They're very easy to kill. Yeah. They don't even seem to Just be... Just like the rich in real life. Yes. Yeah, they don't seem to even be trying to enfeeble me. Yeah. Oh, nasties. Burning motherfuckers. So it's locked. So did they just like lock this place up? Like, don't go in there. Yeah. But they must be either being fed by somebody or they're going out to get prey. Yeah. God. It's like a fucking crime scene. Yeah. Gourd seed? I haven't oh, seen oh, one of those oh, in oh. forever. Finally. Up to ten. I'm 
More salamanders or geckos. Oh, oh this is such a pretty location. Yeah. So can I just... Oh yeah, I can continue up there. Oh, that seems like a big place. Yeah. It looks like a boss place. Yeah. And I think this might take us to the other side of the river this way, so let's do this. Yeah. Wait. Do it, though? Oh, no, it doesn't? Oh, wait, wait. it do. It do. Aha! It do. Jesus. Just barely. Be easy to miss that. Yeah. This is why this game's so good. It makes you fucking look. Yeah. Might want Mountain Echo. The game offers up like a large variety of difficulty. It's not just difficulty in gameplay, but like the battles, but also like difficulty navigating the complex falling apart palace. Yeah. I was scared to attack him on the very edge because I didn't want to fall. Yeah, I was thinking that you should do a, a jump, a kill in the air, but it would also kill both of you. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we got the, yeah, there's a sculpture down there and also that really big looking person who I think is not an enemy, but I'm not sure. Yeah. I doubt they're an enemy who's there, like, literally, like, right there. Like, right there. Yeah, they'd aggro every time you just spawned at that sculpture. Yeah. Get away from my sculpture, donkey. That's my Shrek voice. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? Is that why you married me? I love it. You were like, ugh, I can't not marry this woman and her impeccable, perfect Mike Myers character voices. Shit. <laughs> Good jump. No, he can make it. He no, what? Homophobia is what I call that. Oh my god, for a second I was like, oh my god, the wolf successfully jumped across. <laughs> <laughs> Want to do this. So angry. Yeah. Well, I think you have to be jumping when they do the... Because then it's going to hit you in the air. Yeah. Otherwise, they're going to be aiming on the ground and you're going to just jump to avoid it. Spamming attack is not working. Maybe I can't do that. No, I don't know. Huh. Is it like hit attack when you hit the ground. So maybe it's like delicate timing. I think you have to hit attack before you hit the ground, right? Oh? Really? Yeah. Okay. It's very difficult. Sounds like Gaby trying to hack up hairball. <laughs> <laughs> Gaby hacking up a hairball ASMR. Mm. Instead of like de stressing, it just stresses you more. <laughs> this kind of oddly seems like an arena for something, but there's nothing here. Just a little viewing platform, isn't it? 
Just a little looksy loop platform. It's a beautiful accent. Thank you, mate. Could that be the dad? Dad? The father of the old woman? Father? Daddy? Could be. Sounds about right. Papa. Oh, a bell. Oh. I think that's related to the... Carp. Yeah. Nagihara. Feeding grounds, yep. Uh oh, uh, uh, that's daddy -o. Can I feed daddy to the cart? <laughs> oh, yeah, look at all these bait. Oh. Uh, like. Boxes? Yeah. Damn. Daddy. Those lips. Uh. The lack of them. The teeth. <laughs> Exposed gums. I don't like it. Yeah, same. Oh, wow. Glad I didn't fall down there. Yeah. Uh, I think that's basically it, except for like this. Heavy corn purse. Nice. I'm surprised it didn't collapse the end of the bridge. No support out there. So heavy. Yeah. That was a shitty joke. must be the dad because they were obsessed with it so they're here to feed it oh. that really is just all they think about hmm So I think we have two different things we can do. I think if we give it the truly precious bait, we'll probably be leaving it alive. Yeah. And theoretically, somehow, uh, putting the soul of that noble inside of it or something? I don't know how that's going to work. Yeah. But I think that'll be leaving it alive. Otherwise, I think I can kill it, and then that would... God, if I did that, I bet they would try to kill me. Yeah. But yeah, that'd be at least one boss fight. Maybe two, and then that would complete the old woman's quest who wanted me to help out their father. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the more noble thing, but I want to give it the truly precious bait. Yeah, same. It's like, what if they had new shit to sell and it's like super fucking good? Or their gift is just like, it's just like, it's just like a really good bad dragon dildo. <laughs> And I want to know how it's going to work, too. Like, how's that? How's giving it that bait going to make you be it? <laughs> That's not loud at all. God damn. Hi. Oh. Oh, it's like, feed me. Feed me. Mm. Look at those teeth. No. It's got, like, mm, human teeth. No, I don't like it. <laughs> That's super gross. Pot Noble. Harunaga's bait. There you go, buddy. What's that gonna do? Did it work? Did it? I do I go back to the pot noble? Maybe. Is it gonna come back? Is it just like hanging out there? Oh, it didn't come back. Oh. Y do you have anything new to say? Oh, I skipped it. He'll be happy. Was that because I fed it? Yeah, I guess they were happy that you fed them. 
Must not grow fat in moderation. Okay. Just feeding directions. <laughs> <laughs> they really like that carb. Yeah, let's go back to Harunaga. Coming up on Harunaga, it looks like they've left treasure for us. And they're spilled over a pot, and I see a fish there. Is that them? How did... How did yeah. me giving the bait to the master make them a fish? I thought they were going to become the master. Yeah, what? But it looks like they're just here. I don't... I don't understand at all. Oh, it's, it's small, but it's colored like the master. It's like that really special color. Oh. Are you going to swim away? Oh, no, I can talk to him. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I got to get a closer look at that face. Please don't be blurry. <laughs> oh no, they also got human teeth. I don't like that. Those teeth remind me of that long tubular dragon thing in the original Dark Souls uh, that like took you into its mouth all the time. Yeah, fuck that. I forgot its name. Wow. <laughs> That's... That's kind of sad. Aww. They're not as big as they wanted to be. Aww. They need to be fed more scales. I feel like they're just kind of like cursed because yeah. of their obsession with the carp. Do they sell new stuff? Aww. Oh, they kind of sell like everything, even what the other one sold. Oh, oh, they have lapis lazuli. Yeah, can't really afford much though. So they're just going to stay here, I guess. Yeah. If we give them lots and lots and lots of scales, do you think anything happens? Probably not. Probably not. So this is the treasure they left me, right? Lapis Lazuli. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. I definitely did the wrong thing. You think so? Yeah, I mean, I'm just encouraging them on their, like, curse and their obsession. Hmm. And Gabe is playing with the microphone. Oh, baby. Couldn't be so loud. Yeah. I don't know. I've never dealt with Garpkin before. Maybe they just... Maybe you just gotta, like, you know, encourage the... Encourage the kin. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. What happened to the carp? The big one. Like, is it still there? I guess so. I'm thinking, like, maybe we can do both quests now. Maybe yeah, they're not um, opposite quests. I want to see if the. Can I just call it the magic carp? Is still in its lair? Wait a minute. Can I not? Is it boarded up? Or. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still here? I think I might be gone. For real? It's not in here. I can freely explore this. Is oh. it in the main lake? Okay, I actually have an idea about what happened to the fish. The thing I threw in its mouth looks sort of like a green worm. Which is like the green worms that were on one of the carcasses down below. Oh. I, so I think I threw like basically poison or something that's going to like kill it from the inside. Oh. And so I think the great carp might be, its corpse might be at the bottom now. Oh. No, oh, that's the same one. That's the old one. Maybe it's at the bottom of its lair? Oh. Where did it go? Yeah, it's not in its lair on the ground. Or even floating on the top. It's just gone. Yeah. Maybe it was transformed into that little one. Oh. How bizarre. Yeah. I guess we gotta check with the old lady again. See if she has anything to say. Yeah. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode for now. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we come back, I'm going to go speak to the old woman about the carp and the dad, see if anything's changed with that, and then continue exploring. Hell yeah. <laughs>